Betsy, we get everything done on the mock-up, so the real thing will be perfect. You understand? Uh-huh. I didn't realize so much went into it. Oh, my darling, you have no concept of all the details. <laughs> well, fine. If you finish with me, can I take this off, please? Not before you can walk in it. <clears throat> What's the matter with the way I walk? In my dress, everything. <laughs> you must tuck in the tummy and tilt the pelvis. Go ahead, do it. Am I supposed to breathe at the same time? Mm -hmm. Just because you've been doing it wrong all your life, there's no reason you can't learn properly. It's called the pelvic tilt, darling. Say tipped. Now you. Come on. It's a good thing it's my day off. <laughs> like this? <laughs> no, like this. It must look as if you're gliding on ice. You're too young to remember Sonia Henny, but watch. Gliding. Can I come down now? I'm not ready for you yet. I have to see you descend the stairs. Delphina, dear, I am a doctor person. I have patients to see. I have to go to work today. In one moment, I have to teach this one to walk. Yeah, wait till you see Bobby do her piggy flooding routine. <laughs> no, glide. Hi, everybody. Come on, Bobby. When you spraying your back on? Huh? All right, ladies, come on. Let's walk. Let's walk and glide. Walk and glide. Can I put my hair up in the hat? No, don't worry about the hat. Just learn to walk first, and then you'll worry about the hat. Walk, walk. That's it. What clutzes? Never know. All right. <laughs> Getting married is always as exciting. I should have done it long ago. Yeah, well, Brian's still waiting. Chest out. Yeah. Chin up. I shouldn't have to remind you. Please, Clydesdale's here. They look kind of funny, don't they? Uh, yeah. Well, Delphina is creating. Uh, Delphina? It's a, yes. Uh, should Claudia try on her dress now? Well, of course. Why else is she here? Mm, you're scaring me. Yeah, I know. She takes her job very seriously. Here, uh, yeah, you know. Well, now that's crazy. It's the wedding. Crazy oh, yes, people, so. crazy yeah. things going on. Isn't it something about that? And the whole town is talking about it. And I don't even know all the details, but I do know that she was picked up for the murder of Diana Taylor. She's in jail this morning. I know, I know. Joe told us about it a couple of days ago. Poor Heather. Poor Heather. Oh, Claudia. I can't stand the thought of anybody being in jail. It just seems chills down my spine. Good. Come, grandmother. Your entrance, please. I almost fell asleep up here. I hope this is going to be worth it. My dear, have we been naughty? What? Did we lose a pound or two? Oh, Delphina, my dear, that is not naughty. But with you being such an incredibly brilliant seamstress, I just know that you can manage an alteration. You silver tongue devil. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that one. Oh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So what do you think? Gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous. What do you gorgeous. like it? What miracle has brought from this pincushion? <laughs> you think you could make another one happen and get my divorce papers for me? Turn that way. Honey, I tell you, I think that dress is going to be absolutely exquisite, and I think you're going to be the prettiest bride ever. Oh, why do I have this sinking feeling? Don't that it's just not going to happen. Don't say that. I, I know, I know, but I mean, look, it took so long to get the divorce, you know? Yeah. And the papers get lost in the mail. Now Luke is off somewhere in I have a stunning idea. What? Why don't you call Luke just to tell him that you love him and miss him? You'll be surprised how much better you will feel about everything if you do that. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Because you got the beauty, I got the brains. <laughs> well, no, actually, I got no, some. You're beautiful. Yeah. Just the leftovers. Thanks, Mom. Excuse me, Women, I have to make a phone call. Not now. Oh, yes, right now. I just oh. say that to make her feel better. I'm stunning. I'm sure the hat will look perfect if you wear your hair just that way. Yes, ma'am. Darling, yes, I still don't know what to do with my hair. You haven't told me. What do you think? It hasn't come to me yet. <laughs> but I repeat, do not, do not lose another pound. Oh, I swear to you, nothing but problem. milkshakes and chocolate from now till the wedding. Okay, the mother may go. You. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. That's awfully kind of you because then the doctor can go to work. Did you get him? Oh. No. There's no answer in his room. Oh, well, all that means is that they have the papers already, probably. Oh, sure, darling. I'm, I wouldn't worry. I mean, they're probably going to be here just any minute. <sighs> Now, but you must have another. <laughs> Thank you, no, sir. It's very important that we get these papers. Luke Spencer and Mrs. Baldwin want to get married on Saturday. Before they can get married, they've got to get their marriage license and blood test, and they can't get any of it until we get that divorce paper. Oh, yes, but the records are in the town hall. 
And the registrar is the only one with the key. Well, then we look for the registrar. But there is no need to do that, senor. He is in Guadalajara, celebrating with his relatives. Senor de Baca, there has to be a way in that. Look, I had some dealings with a judge, Jesus Martinez. You know Judge Martinez? Oh, yes. Uh, you think that could help us? Oh, well, he would have the key, yes. Well, then we'll get in that way. But uh, what good would it do? In order to find what you are looking for, senor, the registrar is needed. Sir, if you will just get us in, we'll be happy to take it from there. Bueno. <laughs> Just asking Jesse to... Don't ask. How's it going? Is there anything for me? Uh, no. okay. hey. What? How did the fitting go? I don't want to talk. That place, that is a, a boutique boot camp, complete <laughs> with drill sergeant. Oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, it's a Very lot of fun. You should, you should just see. Wait till you meet this uh, uh, designer person that Tiffany has in from New York. Delphina Darling, no last name. I call her Delphina Darling because that's what she said. She goes around hollering at people and sticking pins in them. Uh, can she design? I d well, yes, I think she can. I've seen that the design, the dresses are lovely, the designs are beautiful, soft. I don't know where it comes from. She's the gold lame queen of the East Dr. Coast. Dr. Leslie Weber. Beg your pardon, yes. An invitation, please, for, for you and Dr. Richard Weber, for Mrs. Helena Cassidy. Mrs. Cassidy, why would she be sending us an invitation? She's giving a reception which she feels is of utmost importance to you and to the entire community. And she is looking forward to meeting you both. Why? She kept me waiting for days on her doorstep in Greece. She wouldn't see me. Well, she will undoubtedly explain that at the reception. I don't think we're interested in her explanations or her invitations. Would you tell her that? Yeah, tell her thank you, but no thank you. On her behalf, I urge you to reconsider. Good day. Nasty. I don't think we should do that. Reconsider, I mean. Do you? I can't see anything good that would come out of it. How about you, Dan? What do you think? Well, I have my own feelings about Helena Cassidy, Rick. You used to know her, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, back in my financial play days. I met her several times with Mikos. Well, what is she like? I don't think I can explain that. More adjectives have been used to describe that woman than any other woman on earth. But they all fall flat. Well, is she, uh, is she a popular person? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. People are afraid of her. You know, under all that grace and charm, I always got the feeling there was a black widow spider waiting. Ooh. Watching. Just, uh, if anybody or anything crossed her, she would consume them. Does not sound like the type of person that you would want to have as a friend. No. Still, she's noted for her charity the world over. An enigma. That's the simplest way to put it. I'd like to put this lady right out of my mind. Oh, that's easier said than done. I know I've never forgotten her. Still, she must have changed a bit. Some of the old fire's gone, I imagine. Well, as to why she's here, I don't think that's much of a mystery. Why not? Well, with all the shame that Mikos and his brothers probably brought down on her name, she's here to uh, well, probably make an excuse or a public apology of some kind. I wouldn't miss that reception for anything in the world. I wouldn't attend it for anything in the world, not to a woman who has represents the family who almost killed our daughter and nearly killed this entire town. Excuse me. You know, Leslie, back then I was sure of one thing. And it probably still holds true today. Helena Cassidyne was without a doubt the most beautiful woman in the world.